G'day, welcome back to my channel. I'm just uh, fooling around on the banjo there, a little bit of plucking. Now, um, it's, it's been a little while since I've done an update. There's been a lot going on. In fact, let me put this sucker down. If you have a look back here on the painting shelf, well, there's just so many things that need painting. And the weather has been shit house. It has. It's been bloody awful. It's um, had thunderstorms and all kinds of things. I mean, it's cold spills and hot spills. It's been all over the place like Granny's underpants. <laughs> so, things have been happening in drips and drabs, and it really hasn't been anything substantial to give you a uh, sort of a progress build video. So, I thought, bugger it, I'll just do one of these sort of gefangled, um, you know, um, up your dates <laughs> and just let you know what's happening. So um, let's have a look at what's going on. Now, there's a bloody big orange thing up there, okay? Now this is a Thunderbird 3, and uh, we're doing a, a group build, which is called um, Fockers on the Starboard um, Bow. <laughs> um, that's with my um, my Facebook page, Fock of the River Counters. Now, um, we had a vote, and everyone decided they wanted to do sci-fi, and I was happy with that. I'm a big fan of sci-fi. As you know, I've got the... Battlestar Galactica there, and I've got a whole lot of um, Star Warsy kits coming in because there was a sort of a discount thing happening on Evil Bay. You could get so much off if you used your coupon, and then I found a guy that was giving free shipping. And next thing you know, I picked up a couple of um, Star Wars kits, and they're coming in a couple of shekels each. Can't beat that for um, genuine Bandai too. Yes, those bandits from Bandai, and um, a couple of Star Wars coming in. More of that later. I've also got a bloody um, Enterprise. Yeah, there was a garage sale on. Oh, look, it was a huge weekend. The Visa card got a battering. Poor old Bass the Cat. She's just going to have to catch her own bloody lizards this week. No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Now, um, anyhow, there's a lot happening. A lot been coming in. In fact, it's bloody. Um, Wingnut wings kits and biplanes and things. I'll be picking up all kinds of things on incredible bargains and specials. Because you know me, I try and get stuff for free or next to near free. You know, you know, best bargain I can find. If I can see a bargain, I snap the sucker up. And, and I have been snapping up a lot of bargains lately. So the wingy things, well, this is basically all the, these are monoplanes and biplanes from World War I. Well, that whole shelf's full of bastards. And um, more of that later, because I'm going to do a comparison between um, a rodent kit and a wingnut wings kit. And they're, they're similar planes, not exactly the same, a couple of albatrosses. Albatross, albatross, what flavor is it? Bloody albatross flavor. Um, bit of a Monty Python sort of throw there, if you, if you know the sketch live at the Hollywood Bowl, I think. Anyhow, um, I digress. Thunderbird 3, so yes, we're having this um, big group build and everyone wanted sci-fi. I said, that's great, I'm into sci-fi, you know. And um, so, I'm at the QMHE show, which is our great big um, annual show here. My mate Chris is here and he put a lot of models in. He won all these bloody medals. Bastard, I didn't put anything in. I was crook, actually. I've been crook for a couple of weeks prior to that, so I didn't get into doing anything. Um, that's my excuse, anyway. So, um, QMHE, having a look around, you know, picked up the one albatross, the road albatross. And then, lo and behold, out of the corner of my eye, Bernard and I both spy this Thunderbird 3. So we bolt over there like crazy, because, you know, Thunderbirds, uh, it's not a thing that you can buy here in Australia normally. They're, they're a bit hard to find, right? A bit like a rocking horse poo. <laughs> so anyhow, we bolt over there, I get there first, and then this guy reaches over and grabs the kit, and we think, ah, bugger! <laughs> the bastard's going to steal it! But he's just pushing it out of the way because he's looking at some other kits, so he's looking twiddle me thumbs and waited on baited breath, right, on tenter hooks. And um, yeah, he moved out the way, I grabbed that, I look and went, ah, it's great, it's great. It's not just the Thunderbird 3 too, there's the um, 3 2, not just the Thunderbird 3 as well. <laughs> it's a whole um, launch bay area with a little vehicle and all the rest of it. Builds up, it's got PE, it's got backgrounds, it's got this. Look, I will do a review and show you how the build's going on that because it's beautiful. It's Aoshima. Um, very, very nicely put together. So um, that's happening now. The FT-17, it's on the go. Yes, as you can see, I've got, uh, we've got all that camo done last time. I'm working on the track links. Okay, track links are coming up a treat. I'll show you my method to try and replicate that, that sort of rusty weathered look on World War I tracks when you haven't really got a lot of relief. They're just big flat surfaces and you have to come up with some way without slabbing a whole lot of mud on it. Well, I've managed to work out a way and I will show you that in an upcoming video. What else have I got? Well, I accidentally built a swimming wagon. <laughs> While I was waiting for everything to dry and waiting for the bloody weather to change and everything, I picked up this little Italian scary swimming wagon. And so I built that and, and I'll, um, 
I'll show you that. If you've been watching the Facebook page, you would have seen all that happening. There's a, a Harry Houdini Models Facebook page you can find, and often a lot of the stuff gets posted there. But um, things will go to video, and things will happen and become big screen, widescreen surround sound. You'll get it all. Just have to make your own popcorn. Now, um, what else we got? Well, there's a tiny little Kelton Grant there that I accidentally built one day. It was given to me by my mate Chris. He said, oh, I've got this in this bloody kit. Do you want it? It's a little dowie thing. That took like five minutes to assemble. Um, it's taking longer to paint it and um, not getting very far. There's my club build there. I've got to get that finished. It's a bloody train. The Panther's still back there. I haven't finished that. That's coming along. And um, the other kitten grad, right? The other kitten crap. It's, um, it's all just assembled, ready for painting. And we just got to wait for the weather to either be not stinking freaking hot and humid or raining and pissing down and humid. And um, yeah, we'll get one of these days soon where I can actually get some decent airbrushing in. All right. Uh, there's a little trailer thing there. A guy gave me that. He's given me two now. He got a whole lot of stuff on an estate sale or something, and there were these sprues that didn't fit anything. They didn't say what they were or anything. And he just said, there's a couple of trailers here. You know, he gave me one, then he gave me another. He didn't know what they were. And I managed to look them up, and they were both Tamiya, and they're both German, German trailers, and they're supposed to have um, various flaky things on them. You know, they're shooting down Z and airplane Zs. You know, hitting this spitting fires. All right, well, enough of all that. Um, what else? Well, I'm going to do, coming up soon, there will be the FT-17, the thing. I'm going to get back to the Arizona. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I, know, I promise. The Arizona has got a lot done to it, and I'm hoping we can get the wood decks on and get some painting and start getting on with the turrets. And the turrets should um, come here with the metal barrels in, so that should be good. So um, that's sort of about it, really. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, oh, there's a whole lot of bloody egg boats there that accidentally got ordered. Yes, I picked those up for about a shekel and a bit each. Under two shekels each. Yes, so uh, egg boats are happening. I've got some 1700 boats that I kind of got on a special sale. They're coming in. More bloody biplanes. Oh, I'll try and go through it all and uh, give you an idea of what's coming up over the next year because there's uh, lots of things happening. And we'll do some armour as well. There's all kinds of armour there sitting, needing to be done. In fact, probably one of the next things that I'm going to do is a little Volkswagen. Yeah, a little Volkswagen Beetle. And we're going to do it in Africa Core colours. So it'll be yellow. <laughs> but anyhow, more of that later. Look, I hope you hang in there. I will get more videos up. I'll get back on it. Um, once back, the cat sort of allows me to um, have some free time. Yeah, I've been spending all my time with her. <laughs> Here's what she's been up to. Oh, look, he's been shopping. Oh, what's in this bag? What could there be? Sniff, sniff, sniff. Yes, could there be fish? Could there be... No, there's bloody models in here. What's all this? What's this? There's no fish. I can't find any fish. You haven't bought me any fish at all. Oh, I'm not impressed. No, it's not very good. Thank you. Not impressed. So that's what that cat's been doing. He's getting into all the boxes that come in here. Every time a bloody kid arrives, she has to sniff the bloody thing. Anyhow, she's a little darling. Now, um, oh, there's also this little fart thing here. Little fart. <laughs> Italian, little plane, yes. And um, strictly not World War One. it was sort of a bit later on, a bit metally. But um, I picked that up for bloody half a shekel or something. It's a little 172 one. Working on that as well, because while it's been raining, I haven't had a paint, it was sort of the last thing lying around. I thought, oh, I'll make this. This will fill in the time while I'm waiting for the rain to stop and I can fire up the compressor. So, um, well, there you go. There's a lot happening, as you can see. This is why there's been no videos. I've been too busy farting around with this lot. <laughs> I'll get... Something up soon, probably FT17 next. Then we're going to do an Arizona, and they will be up hopefully this month. And we'll get back on track, probably a video a week. Try and get back to that. Hey, is that good? Is that what you want? Anyhow, uh, where's my bloody banjo? I think I'll get back to that. All right, it's goodbye from Australia, and it's Huru from Harry Udini.